<clears throat> okay, ever since uh, I left Bullican, um, I've been asked by my subscribers, or at least a lot of my subscribers, to defend myself against claims that were made about me, um, that were being made through different people. Um, basically it was coming from Jack and Myra or probably mainly uh, Myra through Rona and uh, a lot of the Stooges um, making allegations that I'd scam people and uh, I'd done Jack and Myra out of a lot of money and they were struggling and I knew that the only thing I was guilty of while I was there is uh, using my heart and not my head. Without blowing my own trumpet, I am a very kind person and a loving person and, you know, I get upset when I see things that are not right. And if I can, I'll try and put it right. Now that is genuinely me and they've made all kinds of accusations since I've left. There's just too much to go into and, you know, I don't want to bore you with a, a lot of uh, the information, but what I'll say now is that it was just not true. You know, the damage limitation uh, video that Jack did was just full of <laughs> untruths. And I was angry and I wanted to respond, but I didn't want to use my channel as a uh, drama channel and to, you know, get all the cronies coming on my channel and making malicious, stupid comments, etc. So anyway, cut a long story short, what's prompted me to make this video is... Uh, a couple of my subscribers, uh, husband and wife, um, the guy's from the UK and his wife's in law school and they've been challenging Jack and Myra to answer questions that um, this guy's wife, being as she's in law school, uh, is finding a bit hard to get her head round and uh, they just wouldn't answer the questions and Jack allegedly has been deleting the comments from his channel. Now, what concerns me is, bearing in mind I had no interest in following, following Jack's channel or all the ma malicious gossip, I wanted to move on and get on with my life. It was a bad mistake. I lost a lot of money through it and that's why I'm struggling well, I'm not struggling because I've just bought a motorcycle, but I've had to sell something back in the UK to buy it. You know, it's I'm not exaggerating when I tell you I'm living on 575 a month and what I have previously been living on. Now, if I hadn't given loads of money away, I wouldn't have been in this position. But it's my fault. I'm not blaming anybody else. You know, I was warned against it time and time again. Well, like I say, my heart overruled my head. Now, like I say, what's concerned me is uh, it's come to my attention that even if they're not asking directly, they're insinuating that Myra's struggling uh, because she needs this other 240,000 pesos. Bearing in mind, I showed Jack my bank account in the UK. I had three and a half thousand pounds backup money in that account. And as soon as that money was seen, Myra's saying how she wants to help these other people get the land back somewhere in Cebu or one of the islands off Cebu. And of course, I'm looking for a good cause that a little bit of money can make a big difference. So if you look at my earlier videos while I was there where I'm, I'm saying, look, you know, I found a cause it was actually Myra and uh, apparently she previously went for a law, lawyer's papers and for whatever reason she, she couldn't do it and um, 
basically she needed 280,000 pesos which was I think more than three and a half thousand pound but I was told you know you give us that money and you know Myra will always look after you you'll always be okay but you know on a daily basis I was being asked for money even though I was going to give them all that money if if they did something and I didn't give them extra money you could see it didn't sit well you know I can assure you that everything I paid for was the money was given in extra the house that I rented the saying I left them own the money they had a two month uh, bond for just such uh, a situation whereas if somebody ups and goes they can pay any outstanding bills and bearing in mind that they were under no illusions that I wasn't taking that house on for a year it was always going to be temporary so I didn't commit myself, I didn't sign anything. The internet, by the way, if you remember the last American guy that was there, it was his internet. Myra took out a contract for a year, whatever it was, and then when he left, she got stuck with the internet. So then I was asked to take the internet on, and it was gonna save them paying the monthly bill for an internet they weren't using. So I wasn't responsible for the internet either. Anyway, getting back to, I'm sorry I'm going off on a tangent, I'm so angry when I talk about it. That's why I wanted to keep away from it, because it makes me so angry, the mistakes I made. And I've made a lot, and I'll probably still keep making them, because my heart, I can't change, my heart overrules my head, constantly. What I've heard is, like I think I've just said, um, I've heard that the insinua, uh, sort of, Oh, Myra can't do this, and uh, they're looking for donations. Now, I'm going to show, I'm going to let you listen to an audio tape that I've been sent from these two subscribers. Now, this lady is a genuine law student, and she knows a lot of in influential people, and they've all got to hear about Myra's law degree and the masking for donations. Now, if it's proven that Myra is not taking a law degree, then they've committed fraud. Now, bearing in mind that Jack's on a tourist visa, as I am, that will have dire consequences for him, uh, as well as Myra. I'm assured that Myra is not taking a law degree which again makes me quite angry because they're soliciting funds out of other people such as me with kind hearts and it's basically fraud because she's taking no law degree and that hurts me I don't want anybody else ripped off now this video is going to get a lot of the followers making accusations and counter accusations but there's things in motion that's going to prove that she's not taking a law degree. Um, and when, when it's all done, hopefully you'll realise that all the other accusations were because she couldn't get the rest of her money. Because even when I left, I was sent emails by Jack saying it's not too late to uh, do the right thing and pay the rest of the money. Now, don't forget, I, I initially mentioned that there was, uh, I only had three and a half thousand pounds. They were prepared to take that every penny off me and leave me with nothing for Myra's law degree. Bearing in mind they were coming around every two minutes wanting money for this. I was paying bills before the bills should have been actually due. Uh, I, was, I was lending money. It, I was hemorrhaging money. Every, you know, I was frightened out my door. The May thing, it was all Myra's fault and telling lies that got May to go back to the province. It's, it's, there's so much I really need to tell you and, and I want to tell you, but it would take hours and I'm, I get that angry, I'm rambling on to and I'm going off the subject. 
But anyway, watch this, oops, sorry, watch it. <laughs> Listen to this audio tape and maybe, maybe you'll understand that I'm the victim here and I've never asked anybody for anything I've given money away I've left myself with nothing because I've given money away they're not I mean I'm not saying I've, I've ended up with nothing the problems back in the UK with me properties took a lot of that money granted but I would have still had extra money I would have still not had to sell an item back in the UK I did not want to sell to get a bike here because of the money I'd given away so like I say watch this audio tape make make your own minds up and then let's see what the future brings because the pressure is going to build up now and there's very important people taking an interest in this so you know if she is a law student fair dues but I've only made this video because these people have convinced me she's not and I've been scammed but I'm the alleged scammer I've given money away but somehow I owe them money you know they they made me feel like uh, I should be grateful for giving them the money oh she said she was going to give me some land in Cebu for giving her the money and when I turned around and said but Myra you know, Westerners can't own land that's been beaten into my head from day one, from me coming here saying, oh, I'd like to build a house once I've sold my house back in the UK, etc. Oh no, foreigners can't own land. So I tells her this and she, she brings this book down and she says, no, look, there's a loophole in the law and if I give you this land as a gift, then uh, you can own it as a foreigner. Well, I told this uh, subscriber who's taking the law degree and she laughed. She says, you know, it, it's, it's absolutely written in stone. They will never let foreigners, whatever loopholes, own land in the Philippines. Not gonna happen. You know, there's just so much she said and she's, they did and, you know, I had to get away from there. I was being controlled. The reason May was not allowed to stay there and they did everything they could to get me to leave was because of control if I got with me I would need more money and that would have took money away from Myra's uh, 280,000 she wanted it wouldn't have mattered if it was me whoever it would be they wouldn't have been allowed to be with me I wouldn't have got anybody on there to love me and want to be with me you know I cared <laughs> my god a son I loved a son to death I didn't think I could take to a kid so much it broke my heart all of it broke my heart and then on top the accusations that I'd probably done something to me and you know I've got messages from me from when she left telling me what Myra said to her family to get her family worried about her safety you know saying uh, I'd slept with prostitutes and oh, she said so many awful things you know t uh, when I left saying I was going to live with uh, Edward that I was gay you know can I take this opportunity to you know say 100% Edward's my friend and I am not gay you know far from it now the fact that, you know, the business with May really hurt me and upset me, I'm not looking to jump into another relationship anytime soon, which is what I said initially, you know, but I suppose the situation in that subdivision, I was lonely, I was upset. I felt isolated, cut off, you know, Myra controls everything on that subdivision, everything. All the gossip comes from Myra. I know that now, 
everything's come together everything makes sense anyway I'm sorry I've gone off on a tangent again but listen to the audio tape and make your own mind up thanks for li listening to me waffle and we'll see you soon bye for now hi Chris I'm the wife of one of your subscriber I'm just a third year law student for now but I'm getting ready for the second semester. I came to know you gave a donation of 40,000 pesos to this Myra Reyes, who claimed to be an LLB graduate for her internship or refresher course ready to take the bar exam. Looking at all the videos of her partner, Mr. Jack Nordroff, it is apparent that this Myra is struggling to speak a coherent sentence of English. It is a must to be a lawyer in the Philippines that you have a mastery to speak and write English properly. I want to address this to Myra. As an LLB graduate, you should know what it means. An LLB is not learning low bar exam. Your live-in partner, Jack Northrop, claimed that you are in fact presenting cases in court all over the Philippines. And he blatantly said as well that you, it will take you take another 240,000 pesos for you to take the bar. Where did both of you get these figures when to take the bar exam only cost 3,000 pesos? I'm appalled by this Jack's claim that your school wants you to take a criminal charge against Chris for a text message that you misinterpreted as a call for help. What school do you do your pressure calls or review anyway? Is it accredited by the Supreme Court? A school is required by law to only follow their mandate in providing learning through education. They are prohibited to interfere with personal affairs of their students. If you are a low graduate like you claim you are, you know that the school is violating this mandate. And if you claim to be presenting cases as a public defender all over the Philippines, please explain, Myra, what is your cause of action against the text message of Chris? As a graduate of law, you should know that under Section 2, Rule 1 of the REE, this text does not apply to criminal actions. I'm speaking in behalf of most of the low students of the Philippines. We are offended by your portrayal as a product of the legal education. It is obvious that your education is one thing. Our questions and comments are deleted by your live-in partner in his channel. Your portrayal as a low graduate wanting to take the bar exam is impliedly asking for donations towards such. Accepting donations under false pretenses is a criminal offense and you should know that. Myra, now do the right thing. Return to Chris his donation for your so-called registration of the internship to take the bar because you know there's no such thing in the legal system. Number two, and this is important, Apologize to all the low students and the low graduates in this country because you know you are not one. If you do that, people would show compassion towards you. But if you continue the charade of degrading the legal education in this country, I for one will make sure that I will inform and apply pressure to the proper authorities together with my fellow law students and professors to address this issue and, under our and be put under our legal system to give redress and justice to us. Thank you.